It is March, people. Time is flying, and the rumored early 2020 Apple event is apparently right around the corner. I've heard that it'll be taking place on the 31st of this month, give or take a couple days, I'm sure. And with that said, one of the hot rumored devices coming out of this event is, of course, the next-gen 2020 iPad Pro. And today, I want to talk about everything we, as in the tech community and the tech news media, know about it as of right now. But before we continue, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm likes that and will help push my content to more people. So first off, is the design going to change? And my answer is no. No reports have indicated this, and it makes sense because Apple's 2018 design was so radically different from any iPad, especially since the original one, that we shouldn't be seeing any major shift for the next couple of years, and it still looks really good. I'm very much happy with my iPad Pro 12.9 inch as of right now. It's very slim and industrial, and the home buttonless design still looks great even a year and a half later. What we can expect in regard to display though is a bit of a different story. In previous videos that I made talking about this rumored device, I said that OLED was a big possibility and I think it still might be, but I'm seeing less talk about OLED in current reports and more talk about mini LED, which is a superior technology in regard to brightness, I believe, and contrast, and it doesn't burn out as much as OLED does. However, it is a fairly new technology and will likely find its way into 2021 Apple devices and iPads, meaning that we might be stuck with LCD this year. I'm hoping that Apple goes with an OLED panel just to differentiate the last gen from the current gen, you know, just at least increase the contrast and the overall screen quality by, you know, a substantial margin. However, it wouldn't be the biggest deal in my opinion. I still think that a boost in performance is pretty important, um, but still, display is a big category or a big factor in people's willingness to buy this product, and I hope that Apple at least goes OLED, but again, we might be stuck with LCD. If not, there might be a slight chance we get mini LED this year. And of course, if we're talking iPad Pro 2020, we have to talk about the rumored triple lens camera module that will be found in it. Of course, it'll be similar to the iPhone 11 Pro. We've known this for months. It's going to have an ultra wide, a wide angle, and a telephoto. However, in more current reports, we're hearing news about a potential time of flight sensor, which will be found in the iPhone 12. A time of flight sensor can pick up depth and just different information, which may facilitate the iPad Pro's ability to create 3D models. And that technology might find its way into, you know, some pro apps. So we'll see what that does, but that's pretty interesting to see that technology implemented. Next up, let's talk processor. And there's been debate over whether Apple will implement an A13 based processor or an A14 based processor in the next gen iPad Pro. But if we look back in history, I do think that Apple will stick with an A13 based processor because if you remember when Apple launched the original iPad Pro 12.9 inch in 2013, that launched with an A9X. And then when the 9.7 inch iPad Pro launched in early 2016, it also had an A9X. I don't see any reason why Apple would launch an A14 based processor um, earlier than they would with the iPhone 12. I think iPhone will always traditionally introduce a new processor architecture. So with that said, again, we're likely to see a more powerful, beefy A13X processor, which should serve very well even in the midst of A14 processors down the line. The A12 is still a monster and yeah, Either way, A13X or A14X, the iPad Pro 2020 is going to be a beast. And last up, I want to talk about the next-gen rumored smart keyboard that will be launching alongside the new iPad Pro. Um, there's apparently two new things about it that are notable. Although it will feature a similar design, at least that's what reports say, the keys are apparently going to be backlit, which is super important if you want to type in the dark. Obviously, I'm very much excited for that, and that is definitely a reason to buy it if you want to use your iPad as more of a laptop replacement. And speaking Speaking of laptop replacement, Apple may even implement a trackpad into this next-gen smart keyboard, which is super cool. We've seen some keyboard accessories that make use of a trackpad, although the iPad OS mouse features are kind of proto, you know, pretty early, you know, not really that great. They're not comparable to that of a Mac computer or any laptop. Depending on what Apple does to the next version of iPad OS, we very well may see some mouse-based features introduced to the iPad line, which would make iPad Pro more and more of a laptop replacement. And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video was helpful. I would really appreciate it. Once again, if you'd leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. I have a lot of S20 and S20 Ultra content coming up, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.